Hi everyone, uh, here I wanted to have a, a quick demonstration of the uh, last experiment. Uh, you know most of it uh, from before and uh, just here show you uh, uh, what to expect. So for setting up the hardware, so uh, you need this tray you need to flip your servo so it fits here the wiring is the same and basically uh, here you just uh, fasten the beam to uh, this position uh, and it's uh, just right behind the zero and uh, the other side just uh, you fasten this part into uh, this hole and connect this part using a cable that works with S1, S2, you know, and uh, tachometer. This is the same cable basically. And connect this one to your S4 section and that's all that's all you need to do uh, uh before you stop this lap right uh and also when you set up the system you have to make sure that the ball stays uh in the middle or uh, stops somewhere in the middle or uh like other places i mean it, it's not doesn't uh tilt to left or right right it must be uh flat right then uh it comes to test uh the same as uh previous tests that uh we had we had so you have this q file right you uh, work with that and this is your input and it's your this input and this is your fluctuating input could be sine or square wave so uh, it's not good to have a sine input for this test and uh, we're going to have a square wave and uh, basically that's it and uh, then uh, we have uh, our experiment here. Right now, I set my uh, input to zero, right? Which is uh, this part, and this is uh, I keep this one to zero. I change uh, this uh, sliding constant to, to, to show you what will happen. And here we see our input and output all are in zero. And this one, this translate here, the zero position here, right? So we have about 20 centimeter this side and 20 centimeter this side, right? So here is somewhere like in between uh, that is our zero so if I change my input for example to change it to uh, 9.6 right it goes here and this one keeps spinning until it goes to position 9 here was our zero it changed to here Right, if I go move it a little bit here, more about 20 centimeter, and move that side. If I move all the way to the negative, right, to fix this. Mm. 
go this side. So, if I keep it to zero, I expect it to stop somewhere around here in the middle, right? And turn it back to zero. Okay. 